Police launched a crackdown on protests at Istanbul's Boğaziçi University starting in January this year. Students and academics mobilized against the Turkish president's appointment of a new rector, Melih Bulu, calling for his resignation and elections to choose university rectors. University teaching staff used to elect candidates to be rector, but after the 2016 military coup attempt, President Erdogan moved to restrict academic autonomy by appointing rectors himself. Boğaziçi is one of the most respected universities in the country. Its students and staff see the president's appointment as a political move to control the university and restrict academic freedom. Police raided the homes of at least 17 students and protesters, arrested them and confiscated cell phones and laptops. Some were strip searched. Our door was hammered and my father opened the door and at the moment the police special forces with all arms all helmet and everything make them lie on the ground three of us my mother my father and me in five seconds we were all on the ground with a gun on our heads as the demonstrations went on government officials called the students terrorists and used transphobic and homophobic slurs against lgbt protesters The newly appointed rector's first action was to close the LGBTQ community and its club in our schools. And the president publicly ignored the LGBTQ community, saying, LGBTQ, there is no such thing. LGBT, yok böyle bir şey. Bu ülke, millidir, manevidir ve bu değerlerle geleceğe yürümektedir. Ancak bu haklı taleplerimiz karşısında e, toplumu galeyana getirmek o anlamda daha kolay olduğu için LGBT'yi artı arkadaşlarımız ayrıca hedef tahtasına konuluyor. Ve onların bu protestolardaki yeri bu anlamda da ayrıca çok önemli bizim için. Around the world people are coming out in solidarity. But in Turkey the government is making attempts to ban the student protests using the COVID-19 pandemic as a pretext. Police used tear gas, rubber bullets and water cannons to disperse the protesters. Hundreds of people were detained, usually for short periods. Courts have ordered some people be sent to pre-trial detention and put dozens under house arrest. Ben ev hapse aldım. Dolayısıyla protestolara artık fiziki bir biçimde muhtemelen dahil olamayacağım. Ee, en azından tebligat gelinceye kadar. Ancak e, bir tutsaklık biçimi bu da. The Turkish authorities should end the crackdown on these protests, release all those in pre-trial detention or under house arrest and respect academic freedom and the autonomy of Turkey's universities. <gülüyor>